All right, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. So the problem that people messed up the most on uh, the test, the midterm, was the problem dealing with utility. Um, it was the third free response question on your, uh, your midterm, and it's the one that beat people up the most. So I'm gonna try to help, uh, help you out here a little bit with this video. Um, the question asks you to do a couple things, and so I'm gonna kind of go over all of them. Uh, but the thing that messed people up the most was when you had to decide how many of a good to buy in order to maximize your utility here. Uh, so I've got two goods for you. I've got muffins and I've got soda. And what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a budget of $14 here and I want you to be able to figure out how many muffins and how many sodas we should buy with uh, our $14 budget to maximize our total utility. So I want to walk you through a couple of steps here. Um, you'll notice, as I step out of the way here for a second, you'll notice that the soda and the muffins, um, they're set up differently here. If you notice, your muffins have the quantity and the total utility, but the soda's got the quantity and the marginal utility. Most of you guys, uh, were seem, seem like your answers were able to understand the difference here between the two. But I'm just going to run through this real quick here. So if you look here, uh, I've got my total utilities here. So when I get one muffin, I get a total utility of 10. Uh, but when I had zero muffins, I had, I had no utility. So that means that that first one gave me 10 utils, 10 happy points. So that's my marginal utility. The value of the first muffin is 10. Now the second one... Uh, my total utility is now 18, which means the first one gave me 10, so the second one had to give me 8. Now take a second here, pause the video, see if you can do all of these here. And 18 to 24, 6, 24 to 28, 4, 28 to 30 is 2. That's your marginal utility. So that each uh, muffin that I purchase or consume, uh, I notice my marginal utility falls. It gives me less happiness, law of diminishing marginal utility here. Uh, remember, when I had some one of your classmates up front eating Reese's peanut butter cups, and after a while they sure wanted a glass of milk uh, as they ate them and didn't really enjoy them. That's the law that we see here. Um... Uh, now, this, now you have your marginal utility here and you have your marginal utility here. And what people did on the test is they said, oh, that's, it. that's perfect. Now I have enough information to figure out the budget. And they just picked the highest marginal utility. And you notice your highest marginal utility on this side is 10. Uh, and the lowest one you have over here is 12. So people would say, oh, I'd buy all the sodas. And that is a mistake. Don't do that. All right? Uh, but before we get to the, the step that you have forgotten here, can you take a second and figure out your total utility column over on my soda side? Take a second, see if you can figure it out. I'm going to pause and wait for you. Okay, so let's see here. Your total utility, when you had zero sodas, Zero. You didn't get any happiness. You had no sodas. The first one, well, I know the first unit uh, gave me 24. So that's all I have. 24 is my total as well. But now I know the second soda gave me 21. So I got to do this. I got to add to my 24. If I go 21, 24, uh, I'll go 45. 45. I'm hoping I don't mess this up here. Uh, 45 and 18, I'm going to go 63. 63 plus 15 now gets me to uh, 78. And 90. Double check myself here for a second. Yeah, I think so. All right. Uh, now, now the step that you guys forgot here. And I want to try to explain this in a way that uh, hopefully you can get here and make sense to you. So people, they look for the highest marginal utilities, but that's not what you want to do. 
You want to maximize your bang for your buck here. So if I buy the first soda, it's going to cost me $3. And with that $3, I'm going to get 24 utils. Okay. But think for a second here. I want to say this right. If you're over here, you buy that first muffin, you're going to get 10 noodles. But it only cost you $2 to get 10 noodles versus $3 to get 24. You got to figure out what the better deal is here. And if you ask yourself over here, okay, well, I spent three to get 24. How many noodles did each, each dollar buy? Well, it cost me three, so each dollar got me eight utils. If you do this, you take your marginal utility per dollar, you take the price, you got to divide by three equals eight. So every util you buy, or every dollar you spend, gets you eight utils. I hope that makes sense to you. Can you do the rest here and the rest here? Actually, just do the rest over there. Let's see. So you got 21 for your margin utility. For your second soda, three bucks. So each dollar is going to buy me, divide by three again, equals seven. And you're just going to divide by three all the way through here. Six, five, four. Okay? Now, I said do this one, but the key thing to notice, hopefully, can you figure out what you have to change when you do your muffins now? Notice the price. The price of the muffins is two, where the sodas were three. So now your dollars, you're going to be dividing not by three, but by two. So now think, your first muffin uh, is 10 for the margin utility. Divide it by two. So now every dollar gets you five utils here. See if you can figure these out now. I divide all these by two. I get five, four, three, two, one. Remember, you don't have a calculator, so it's got to be pretty easy, okay? Now that you've done all that, now you have to compare this column to this column. This is where most of you guys, you just didn't make this column. You knew how the process was supposed to work. You're going to look for the highest uh, bang for your buck variable here. Uh, so my biggest bang for my buck is the eight. You're going to circle it. How much did it cost you to buy the first soda? Three dollars. So I put a three over. What am I going to buy next? Am I going to buy the first muffin or am I going to buy the second soda? Second soda is seven. Muffin's five. I'm going seven. Now I've got three plus three more giving me six. <sighs> five and six. I'm going with the third soda. I've spent nine dollars. Remember, my budget is 14, okay? Uh, now I'm five and five. This is probably a good thing. And I should probably get to 14, I bet you. I'm actually gonna guarantee because I made the problem. Uh, I'll circle here, nine plus three gives me 12. I'll circle here, nine or 12 plus two gives me 14. So the combination is gonna be four sodas, and one muffin. Sometimes they'll ask you, uh, what is the total utility or the maximum total utility? Well, I got 10 here. I got 78 here. Gives me 88 utils. Is the best I can do. It's the best I can do. And if you came up with any combination of soda 
and muffins that you could buy with 14 bucks, you can't do better than 88. If you look, um, just pick a combination. Let's say, let's say we did just for the sake of it. We bought three sodas. That'd be nine bucks, right? That leaves us with uh, five dollars left over. We could buy two muffins with that five bucks. Uh, so sixty-three and eighteen. Put me in my math calculator. Boop 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 boop. boop. Eighty-one. Eighty-one is less than eighty-eight. Any combination is going to be less than eighty-eight for your total utility. <sighs> All right, it's getting late. If you guys have questions. Let me know. Overall, super good job on your midterm. Keep working hard. We got a month left. Uh, you guys are so close. I'm so proud of a lot of you. So keep up the good work. Uh, if you have questions, let me know. Good night, guys.